Hi everybody, just going to help you through this question in case you're stuck. So I just put an interesting image here from Wikipedia just for fun. It's uh, a ring of plutonium metal. Uh, it's not all radioactive. Uh, plutonium-239 is just uh, kind of part of it or there might be a little bit in there. It's um, a type of a re radioactive type of plutonium. Here's a little bit of background in case you're interested. But uh, to the questions, um, we, we say plutonium-239 has a half-life of about 24,000 years. And then we got to do these questions here. How many years would two half-lives be? How many years would 20 half-lives be? Uh, part C is if you had 16 grams of plutonium-239 now, how much would be remaining after 100,000 years? Um, question uh, uh, Part D is if you had 3 grams of plutonium-239 now, how much would be remaining after 60,000 years? Now, now Part C you got around to the nearest gram, but watch out, Part D round to the nearest milligram. Remember, there's a thousand milligrams in a gram, right? So let's get to the questions now. Okay, so let's um, answer this question. We've got plutonium-239 with a half-life of 24,100 years. So what are, what, what are two half-lives? How many years is two half-lives, right? So one half-life is, you know, you start with a certain amount of the plutonium uh, and then after 24,100 years, half of it um, has disintegrated and disappeared and gone away and so you're left with half right um, so uh, and after another half life um, another half of it has disintegrated and gone away so let's take this part away right that's another part and now you're left just left with this amount right so that's kind of how it works right um, so two half lives is just two times the 24,100, that's 48,200 years. Does that make sense? Right, so um, what's 20 half lives then? So uh, just to help you out, like 10 half lives would be 10 times that, 241,000 years. So 20 half lives is just 20 times that, 482,000 years. Does that make sense, right? So this is two half lives, that's uh, 20 half-lives, if you want to get three half-lives, you just multiply it by three, right? Okay, so on to the next part, we're going to take, um, uh, sorry, uh, what was it? No, 16 grams, not that. So we're going to take 16 grams and figure out how much is remaining after 100,000 years, right? So I like to do a little table here, um, and I like to do... Um, like the half-lives are just 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, aren't they? And then we want to look at how much is remaining. So we, we do our half-lives. And how much is remaining, or the amount, right? So um, we might say 0 half-lives is right now. Okay, how much is remaining? Um, well, we start, we're starting with 16 grams, right? Okay remaining in grams g right um after one half life how much have we got remaining so after one half life uh what i was trying to explain with a little uh diagram so so it's it's kind of like you know you start with a, a certain amount uh so this is your plutonium here and after one half life um half of it has uh, reacted and disintegrated and 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 completely changed and gone away and now you are just left with half of what you started with okay so basically you're left with eight grams does that make sense after one half life you're left with eight grams right after two half lives what are you left with okay so after two half lives another half of the plutonium has disintegrated, reacted, and disappeared and gone away. It's completely gone, and you're just left with basically a quarter of what you started, right? So half of 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 what was there before, and so now we've just got four grams left. Does that make sense? So after three half lives, tell me how much is left. After three half lives, another a half of what was remaining goes away now, and so another half. So um. Let's see, have I another color? Uh, and I think I got a pink here that might help. 
Um, so half again goes away like that. And now we're just left with this little bit here, right? Which is actually um, 1 8, isn't it? So now we're left with 2 grams. Does that make sense? So this is how it's going on. So after four half lives, how much is remaining? Half of the previous amount, right? So half of this goes away, disintegrates, and we're left with this little bit in here. Okay, so we're left with half of half of that again, one gram. So that's how it goes. You, you kind of you, you divide by two each time, or you multiply by a half each time, right? Same thing, isn't it? Actually, multiply by a half each time, right? And so if we look at the years, just to get an idea of what's going on here, um, initially, after no years, we have 16 grams, right? But after one half life, which is, remember, 24,100 years, we have 8 grams left. After two half lives, or 48,200 years, we have um, 4 grams left. And multiply that by three. Uh, Seventy-two thousand three hundred years. We have that's three half lives. You have two grams left. And multiply that by four. Um, Ninety-six thousand four hundred years. We have one gram left. Okay. So the question is, like, how do you convert from years to amount remaining? Because we, we start with, you know, or, um, uh, you know, if we've got a hundred after 100,000 years, how much is left? It looks like we're getting close here. But um, but the, the kind of formula is um, um, we've got to half it after each half-life, but we've got to convert the years into half-lives, okay? So we start out with 100,000 years, okay? And what we actually do is divide that by 24,100, right? And that gives us 4.149 um, and so on. Uh, it's about 4.1 four nine half lives okay okay and then we've got to convert that into figure out how much is remaining right now how we did this each time was we divided by two or another way is we, we think about is multiplied by a half so so after one half life we took our we could say we could took our 16 grams and we multiplied that by 0 0.5 and that gave us eight grams, right? After two half lives, we took our 16 grams, we multiplied it by 0 0.5 to get eight, but then we multiplied it by 0 0.5 a second time. Okay, and that gave us four grams, didn't it? And so this can be written as, um, gosh, I think I need more piece of paper, uh, 16 times 0 0.5 to the power of two, right? Okay, um, after three half lives, so we start with 16 grams, multiply it by a half to get eight grams, and by a half again to get uh, four grams, and by a half again to get two grams. So it's 16 times 0 0.5 to the power of three. Okay, and that gives us our um, two grams. And then and if we multiply it by a half again, we get our one gram, right? So 16 times 0 0.5 to the power of four. So what we learned was, you know, you, you take your half lives and that um, becomes an exponent up here. That's how the formula works. So like three half lives, um, you take your initial amount, multiply it by 0 0.5 to the power of three. Four half lives, take your initial amount times 0 0.5 to the power of four and so on, right? So for 4.149 grams, we take our initial amount, 16 grams, multiply it by 0 0.5 and put to the power of 4.149, okay? And that will give us 
our answer. So that's 16 uh, times 0 0.5 to the power of 4.149. That's 0 0.9018 and so on. That's about uh, 0 0.9018. Uh, zero, one, eight, blah, blah, blah. And we're asked to round that to the nearest gram. And so that is, as we saw, approximately one gram. So round it to the nearest gram, it's approximately that. If you're to round that to the nearest milligram, what would you do? To the nearest milligram, that would be? Remember, there's a thousand milligrams in one gram. One thousand milligrams equals one gram, right? So to the nearest milligram, that would be 902 mg milligrams, right? So on to the next part of the question. If you had three grams of plutonium-239, how much would be remaining after 60,000 years? First of all, we need to figure out how many half-lives that is. So I'm not going to do the table this time. I'm just going to go straight for the jugular. Half-lives, that's 60,000 over 24,100. Okay. Oops. Two point four eight nine six. Uh, so it's about. I'm gonna say it's about two point. Um, yeah, whatever. Four eight nine six. I'll just do that many eight nine six half lives. Okay, and um, remember that if we were that you know you start with three. I mean, I'm just going to do a quick table. But if you have half lives, and you look at how much is remaining. Just to get into the feel of it, after no half lives right right away, we got three grams. After one half life, we got 1.5 grams. After two half lives, we've got um, half of that 0 0.75 grams remaining. After three half lives, we've got half of that. Again, um, gosh, off the top of my head, sorry, um, uh, sorry, uh, you know, two. I'm oh, sorry, three. Uh, seven, uh, five, isn't it? Um, and so on. So um, uh, the point is we're in and around this area, right? We're in and around this area, about two half. There's, there's, a, there's a little over, there's over two half. So we're around here somewhere. But the question is, again, if we have um, two point, you know, about 2.4896 uh, half lives. How many? How much? How many grams remaining? Right. So again, the formula would be: uh, after one half life, you would go three times a half, or 0 0.5 to the power of one. That would give you 1.5. Here you go three times 0 0.5 to the power of two to give you 0 0.75. Here you go, 3 times 0 0.5 to the power of 3. That would give you uh, 0 0.375 grams and so on, right? So for this amount of half-lives, we continue the formula. It's 3 times 0 0.5 to the power of 2.4896 half-lives, right? Um, so in a calculator, that would be 3 times 0 0.5 to the power of uh, 2.4896, okay? Um, and again, your calculator understands PEMDAS, so it's going to do the exponents first and then multiply, right? 3 times 0 0.5 to the power of 2.4896, okay? And that gives us uh, 0 0.5 Three four one six six. Um, grams and round that to the nearest milligram. Okay, this is grams. 
So there's 1,000 milligrams in a gram. So to convert that to milligrams, you multiply it by 1,000. So that's approximately 534 mg milligrams, right? And by the way, to make it even more accurate, in the calculator, we could have gone three times uh, 0 0.5 to the power of parentheses, take your 60,000 and divide that by 24,100. If you put that in a calculator, it'll give you the exact answer and then you can round it, okay?